and we see what works. And if it works and it comes good, we do that. <laughs> um, yeah, we don't like have a lot of theories about behind what we do. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm sure that's fine. Let's go brown. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, let's. Uh, we call it the Benny, Benny style, the ba ba ba. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Slippery slope. <laughs> ben. <laughs> um, Panella, did you want to uh, add anything there? No. No? You're happy? <laughs> okay, Kaffe Brennerdiet. David. Hi. Well, um, we did start our uh, background with a pakamara because we didn't have the luxury to roast a uh, full batch for the maracatura and uh, we went for a uh, exact, um, <laughs> for the profile as the pakama uh, yeah pakamara that we had and we started applying heat at a slow rate and um, almost halfway through, we uh, started. We uh, yeah, about six minutes. We um, turned the heat up and started applying more heat at a higher ratio. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's so nervous. Yeah. Do you know uh, the development time uh, ratio uh, or time? Time. Well, we had a uh, the maracatura didn't really um, react as we wanted it, as we thought it would. Uh, it started first crack a little bit earlier, and then uh, it dropped in temperature. So we well not dropped. It didn't get enough. But we tried to, um, as I said before, um, halfway through, um, get more heat in to force it into first crack. So probably that's why it went. How big the batches mm -hmm. did you do? Did you say one batch, twenty kilos? So yeah. we didn't have the luxury, as I said. Okay, yeah. And we, did you do sample roasting before? Uh, yeah, a few ones. Yeah. What was the when you went into this? What was your kind of concerns or goals? What did you? Okay, this is if we do this, we have done a good job. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, the focus here was to preserve and emphasize the acidity and sweetness that the caf that the coffee has. So we're pretty much we're pretty happy with the result that we had. And uh, yeah. You said uh, something, uh, if I understood mm -hmm. it right, and maybe I can see that on the profile as well. You uh, increase the heat halfway through. Yeah. And, and that's it, opposite what I think exactly we've seen in the other... Uh, many other yeah. years that have done. We so in my role, that would mean that we have a longer, we make the drying period longer, and then, as you said, increase the energy through, through mm -hmm. crack, right? Mm -hmm. uh, do you, is that a profile you do on other beans, or was that kind of this... No, that's what we do on what we do on other things as yeah. well. What is it, certain areas, certain origins, or well, everything depends on the coffee how it tastes. Yeah. But yeah, mm -hmm. and, and, yeah, and, yeah, density of mm -hmm. the, the beans. That, this one as well has uh, was a little bit um, mm -hmm. with higher density as the pakamara that we had. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Anything else you want to? No, no we'll get back to you. All uh, right. Yes. Hello, Patrick. Hi, I'm uh, Patrick Rolf. <laughs> so uh, today we've got the novelty profile here, it seems. So we uh, we're roasting on a loin 15, um, and we were roasting with a 10 kilo batch, uh, and we came in with a 195 charge temperature, and then aiming for. Yeah, usually 17 to 19 uh, top rate of rise. And then what we've done here is drop the burner out completely at the top rate of rise. So we've gone in with 100% gas from uh, 15 seconds and then drop that out. Um, we've got then between two minutes and 
coming up to about four minutes where we're dropping rate of rise uh, down to about uh, five. And when we hit five, we kick the burner back in at 100, so we're stretching out drying phase. Um, then we come in into crack with, um, with about five, six uh, rate of rise. Again, we're somewhere around 198, 200 um, is how we mark it. And then we looked for a one minute 10 development time here, which is reasonably reasonably average for us, maybe a little bit longer. We did experiment with another batch with a, with a longer development time, but we didn't find any increased sweetness necessarily. Um, for this profile, we were looking for the, the best cleanliness, uh, transparency you could get with the cap. Um, we have, as you mentioned, we don't really want to do too many changes often, so we, we were looking to go for the highest energy possible through the majority of the roast and stretch out the roast time using the drying phase there. Um, controlling the rate of rise through crack by just small 10% adjustments um, for drop. 10 kilo roast, you said? Yeah. How? Because we had to hand in 10 kilos, right? Yes. Uh, so that's a little You're difficult. You're spraying we, the wa with no, water, we, no? Um, <laughs> we, we had another that's roast great. that we were happy to yep. contribute a little from. Yep. Uh, <laughs> In, in security, so we could push three batches. So yeah. we, so we yeah. could actually try to get the best out of it and just take a little from that. How big is the roaster, did you say? 15 kilos. It's a 15 yeah. kilo. Yeah. But you didn't don't want to do five kilo batches? Or uh, no, we, we find the majority of our production, we stay at 10 kilo batches. Yeah. It's our preferred uh, batch size for the 15. When I've seen uh, profiles uh, where you want the longer drying phase, I've yeah. seen that you just wait with adding the the gas from the beginning. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. To kind of get that smooth. Uh, and how how you, are you working with this technique on many coffins? Or yeah, quite, yeah, quite a few. It's yeah. a reasonably recent development, but yeah. it's something that we found to be quite useful with coffees that um, we want to just kind of stretch the loss a little bit, but we don't want to be making changes all the time. All right. So so that is adding a lot of energy in the beginning, opening up the bean, and then slowing it down. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Uh, are you happy with the result? Yeah. Did you get the transparent cup? Uh, yeah. Um, I couldn't tell you which cup it was no. necessarily there, but we were happy with the, the batch that we chose yeah. to come with. Yeah. yeah. Well, for you, for you, what was the most tricky thing with this coffee? Mm. Well, I mean, it was probably still easier than the Pacmaras. Um, but if for both of us, we've not, neither one of us have roasted a, a marketer before. Um, so uh, part of it was looking how it was reacting in crack. You can see we still have quite a quite a big uh, drop off there, especially compared to a lot of the other profiles. Um, but generally, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't too uh, troubling in that sense. We didn't have too many surprises necessarily. We were just trying to tweak to find the best, like many people said, sweetness and acidity. The acidity was still there with the majority of the roast. It was just really trying to find how we could accentuate sweetness. And like I said, increased development time for us didn't really necessarily do that. All right. Okay, very good. Thank you. Simo. Woohoo! Scott Rao would be very happy here. <laughs> okay. Um, why? I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> the stage is your, I will just leave. <laughs> I'm not sure if there are two baselines there or not, but I think not. I think it's the, the only you gave me this on this? Yes, yes. You so it's only one baseline. Yeah, I would like to see this one first. Um, what we did is that, um, I mean, we started with a green bean 